Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and we have a problem here where we cannot insert a column or a row in Excel. So we need to discover why this is. And probably the reason for it is that in the last column or row of your worksheet, you have some sort of formatting formula or data. The easiest way to get to the last column is if you click in the first empty column in your sheet, control, right arrow key, take you to the last column. I've made it easy for us here. I can see at the top up there, I have some sort of formatting on that cell. Same for the last row. So you click in the first empty row in your sheet, control down arrow key. And here also you can see you've got that sort of border at the bottom there. So it might be formatting, might be a formula. It might even be some data. So essentially what you need to do is clear anything that is in that last row. Now to be doubly sure, what you can do is if you select the whole of the first empty column in your sheet, so mine's G, use the shortcut key, control shift, right arrow key. On the home tab of your ribbon, go to clear, clear all. And do the same for the rows. So select the first, empty row beneath your data, control shift down arrow key, clear, clear all. Then you should be okay. So if I try to insert a column here, I get this message, but I can just click on okay, and it inserts a column. And then similarly, I can insert a row and it works. Now, if that doesn't work for whatever reason, let me just undo the insertion of that row and column. One easy way to get around it is to create yourself another sheet and copy the data into that sheet. Insert the column there and then paste it back in to the original sheet. So I can just click in that first cell there, press enter to paste, and that solves the problem for me. But you're going to have to do that every time you want to row in a column. So the first solution is much better. If all those other things fail, it may be that you need to reset the used range in your sheet. So I've gone to another sheet here. Now, if I click into A1, a way to select the used range is Control Shift End. And you can see here that it selects this additional column. Now, no matter what I do, clear it, Control shift end, it still selects it, delete it, control shift end, still selects it. So how do I reset that used range? It may be that your used range extends out to the last column or the last row of your sheet. There's an easy way to reset it. You need to open up the Visual Basic Editor to do it. Alt F11 to open up the Visual Basic Editor. Control G on your keyboard opens up the immediate window. And then this is the code that you need, activesheet.usedrange.select. If I press enter after that, go back to my spreadsheet, you can see it's selected the actual used range in my sheet, not the pretend one with the extra column. So if I now click into A1, Control Shift End, it now selects the proper used range. So I know in my scenario, I only had one extra column that was being included in my used range, but this is relevant if the used range extends out to the last column in your sheet. Using that immediate window solution should solve your problem. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.